folks, welcome to Clayton Laugh Out Loud Comedy Club. We got a great show for you tonight. We got a lot of great, great talent. We got a headliner that's just going to knock your socks off. We uh, we got some folks going to do some new jokes for you. I'm going to do some really, really old jokes for you. No, I'm going to do some. Uh, I'm going to do some stuff for you. I've been haven't been here in a while. I'm glad to be here. Uh, but I see we got some folks out here drinking. Good to see that. Anyone celebrating tonight? Anyone? No one celebrating. What are we celebrating? Anniversary! Woo! How long have you guys been together? Good for you? Massachusetts? No, wait, no, I'm kidding. What, uh, what are we celebrating here? Anniversary, you guys? Seven years? Seventeen. God bless you guys. We'll tell you what, folks. Join me. We're going to raise a glass. Because uh, I'm celebrating too. We're going to detach a microphone. I'm celebrating also. we got 17 years anniversary. Nothing else we're celebrating? No? Alright, raise a glass for 17 years. And I'm celebrating three years sobriety. Woo! Let's go! Alright. Uh, drinking Captain Morgan, Captain Morgan and Coke, uh, which is only fitting because Captain Morgan is my sponsor. <laughs> Anyone drink the Captain here? Anyone fans of Captain Morgan? Love, it. Love Captain Morgan. I'll tell you, I, I, I've always gotten along really well with Captain Morgan. The uh, only thing that I have a problem with is his new commercial. You guys see the new commercial for Captain Morgan? Right, there was a smooth move. Right, they got the Captain. Smooth move. For you guys over here, right? Smooth move. Right, you got it. Thanks. But the problem with that is if you drink as much Captain as I drink, you ain't doing this. Smooth move, it's more like, smooth move. <laughs> oh my god, how did I wind up with her? <laughs> Don't know if you guys can tell from the dialect, I'm not originally from around here. Anyone pick up on that? Yeah. Yeah, what do you say? Like, yeah, you're originally from around here, aren't you? No. Where are you from? Texas. Texas, yeah! Good to see you. We just rode in on the Brahma Bowl. Woo! Good to see you, folks. Who, uh, who here is native North Carolinians? Woo! Woo! There's yeah. like a few of you. See that? There's like seven. That makes you guys just darn happy, too, don't it? Like, uh uh, man. We need to put a roadblock on 95. Cut it out. We've got too many of these Yankees rolling down. But I'm originally from New York. Anyone ever hear of it? Woo! Where in New York? Where in New York? Dunkirk. Dunkirk, Buffalo. Yeah. Buffalo? Buffalo. Hey, I don't want to get picky or anything, but from folks from the city like I am, I, I don't know if you're a real New Yorker, I think you're more Southern Canadian. Because <laughs> I'm, from, I'm from New York, spent some time in Edgewater in the Bronx. A great neighborhood if you're a bullet. <laughs> but uh, I went to a tough, tough, tough school. My kindergarten school, you didn't get enrolled, you got jumped in. It's like, welcome to school. <laughs> Cut it out, teacher, I don't have any lunch money. Cut it out. But, but uh, tell you what, you're growing up in New York, in the city, anyone ever apartment dwellers? Uh, uh, yeah, hey, apartment, you know what, you're just saying yes to everything. God bless you, man. Buy that girl a drink. Anyone ever been on the moon? Woo, I did, I was on the moon. Thank you, helping out the comics. But uh, growing up, living in apartments, doesn't matter how clean your house is. If your neighbors aren't clean, guess who's coming to your house? Can't help it, it's not your own fault, but you're going to have bucks. And money was tight when I was growing up. You know, I don't know if you guys ever priced out an exterminator. Any exterminators in the house? They're expensive. They're all out driving their Cadillacs and their Mercedes. I'm telling you what, they're like $90, $120. We didn't have that kind of cash. I start flipping through the yellow pages. I find a guy going to come out to the house, $11.95. I'm like, hey, that's pretty good. The dude shows up. He's like, where are the bucks? <laughs> if they come back, y'all call me, okay? <laughs> Thanks, pal. I appreciate that. Thank you. Take the picture. <laughs> but I'll tell you what, I grew up, uh, my family predominantly Italian, German, Irish, Jewish, and Japanese, in case I get to the panda joke. But, <laughs> the, uh, but it's funny, you can tell which part of my family, where are the Italians in the house? We got about it. Hey, we got about it. How you doing? All right. Where are you from? Jersey. Jersey, okay. That's like New York life. It's pretty cool. Good to see you. Bada bing. So I got Italians. Any Irish? Where? Hey, look, raise the beer. Woo! Woo! All right. Uh, <laughs> any Jewish folk in the house? Son, you're Jewish in Canada. You ain't allowed to be Jewish down here. <laughs> right? There's, there's no Jewish people around here. Uh, which is cool, I guess. Uh, since we're not here, quick impersonation, do you want a beach? <laughs> that is so hack. Don't laugh at that. Uh, anyway, so my family, you can tell which part of the family you're talking to around the holidays based on what kind of questions they ask you, right? You get on the phone, Cousin Pete, hey man, how'd you do? Hey man, how you do? Do you, uh, you go to grandma's? 
What'd you eat? What'd you eat? That's Italian side, right? What'd you eat? Who made the meatballs? Yeah, that's a gazini. It's cool, right? What are the Irish guys? Hey, man, you get wasted? Huh? Uncle Tony makes the drinks. You get wasted? Yeah, then the Jewish folk, what'd you get? What'd you get? Did you get a receipt? Did you keep it? <laughs> you racist SOBs. Shame on you. That's just horrible. Horrible, horrible. Um, but it's cool. Uh, I did growing up in New York. Uh, growing up, I would say poor, but economically challenged. Uh, it's kind of tough because my mom's single mom, right? She's not, you know, one of these, uh, you know, moms stay at home, they have time to do all these Martha Stewart kind of things. You know, my mom, she worked with God bless her, and plus role moms. But I'll tell you, I had some friends, man, their moms, when Halloween came rolling around, their moms would make them costumes. They'd make them stuff. I had a friend who was E.T. with things that lit up, an ex-wing fighter with moving parts. My mom, she gave me a purple t-shirt. Go ahead, you're great. <laughs> mom, mom, the shirt's not even ironed, it's all wrinkled. Okay, you're a raisin, get the hell out of the house. <laughs> but she was really mad at me though, she dressed me up as one of Jehovah's Witnesses. No one's ever answering that door. <laughs> I know you're in there. That's just wrong, isn't it? I'll tell you what, I'll tell you something that's right though. We have a gentleman that's gonna come to the stage. Uh, his name is DT. He's very funny. Why don't you put your hands together, ladies and gentlemen? Laugh out loud. Welcome, DT. Hey, I don't know if you guys caught exactly how white I am. <laughs> DT comes off the stage, and I'm like, I can be a little bit cold, a little fist bump, right? But he's like got the handshake going, so I'm like, all right, I got a little handshake going. And then he's got the fist bump going, and I'm just so white. <laughs> it's just sad. And I noticed, you know, we got white guy pressure. We asked you, you know, it's funny, and, and you guys know you black guys. You ask a white dude, you know, in Johnson County who he's voting for, and he's like. I don't really want to say McCain. It's gonna be McCain, but I don't. I don't want to say that. But you know what? You got to vote for who you got to vote for, and that's cool. Just you know, get out there and do it. Um, then you know what? 17 years we talked about that, sticking out to the end. We always love those stories, right? You hear them. Oh, they were married 72 years, and she passed away, and he died two days later. Oh, that's true love. Maybe. Maybe she didn't tell him where she kept the medicine. <laughs> But I got some medicine for you guys, and laughter is the best medicine. We got Mr. Brian Hale coming up to the stage. Put your hands together, Brian Hale. Brian Hale, Brian Hale. You know what, we didn't get a repeat for DT, Derek DT. We want to clap for him. Give another hand for DT. He was good out there. Welcome to good stuff. Yeah! Thank you love, man. Good stuff. You know, we talk about that. People are trying to hook up. People are trying to find love. They're trying to find someone. Uh, we talk about ah, Christian singles, is what he's saying. But it's funny, they say church. Is a great place to meet someone. Church is a good place, you know, which is kind of interesting. So what do you hang out with your little cup of communion wine? Hey, how you doing when you come to the Lord Orphan? Say that. Oh, he's telling church jokes. What do we got down here? Baptists? Where are the Baptists? Come on, where are you? No, well, Sunday, I'm sorry. They're all singing you know, how great thou art. <laughs> but I'll tell you, the Baptist really has the right, uh, right kind of mentality, because if you hold everybody under water long enough, <laughs> they'll come around to your way of thinking. <laughs> how about now? How about Catholic? Any Catholics in the house? Catholics right here. Catholics right here. Quick, hide the children. Huh? Stop it. That's terrible. Terrible. What's not terrible, what's not terrible is our next act for you folks. Put your hands together. Jermondo. Jermondo to the stage. Jermondo, 